a couple of dodgy songs that I'm you not don't want. <laughs> tarnished again, careers tarnished. Do you have a favourite save you've ever made? Um, I don't know if you can have a favourite save. One that looks good. Maybe. <laughs> no. um, probably an important one is uh, penalty saves are probably big ones. They change games. Um, so either the Poland one um, for national team or uh, the stages at Zurich a couple of years ago in the last 16. That would probably be one of them. That sounds really boring right now, <laughs> but uh, it's a quite a hard yeah, question, no. actually. Do you have a random goalkeeping memory? Oofed. Not sure what that entails. Uh, no. Um, yeah, probably my f- like first. I think me and my brother used to play in the garden, and he needed someone to shoot into. So, uh, so that was me as the younger sister. So, that's probably got to be why I started. So, I guess that's. That's good. That yep. Everyone has to start somewhere. Exactly. Whether it's a human target or not. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Done the job. <laughs> um, do you have any superstitions with your gloves, left or right first? Uh, no, no, I don't think so. I always tape my thumbs, so I have to. I can't go into any session or game without my thumbs taped. That's just. It's just a mental thing. I don't actually think I need it, but I've done it for so many years now that it, that's probably the superstition rather than actually putting gloves on or not. First, oh, first Glasgow City, maybe. Oh, first Glasgow City. Um, well, I'm gonna say, um, so I've been here since I was in under 15s. So I remember my first session there quite well, actually, but I'm not quite well, but I just remember that. Um, so played with like Murren was there at the time, mm-hmm. um, players like that. Um, then first team, first memory of that, probably my first session as well, that was quite scary. I think we did the yo-yo test and I did very bad. <laughs> so <laughs> Always a good one yeah. to start with. I think it was January after Christmas, so Great. yeah, that's probably it. Um, <laughs> do you have a favourite City moment? Uh, the crazy night that when we were at Airdrie and uh, I had to come off at half time because I'd broke my collarbone and I wanted to make sure I watched the game and Sue Lappin scored in the last minute for us to go to the last day and it was just ridiculous like I was a ball girl that day it was crazy <laughs> like it was so mad um, to think that we had achieved that for the club the size of the club and it was comebacks, that was the kind of year of comebacks, we'd went away and we'd lost um, in the last 32 and then in the last 16 we'd done the exact same, we'd given ourselves such a uphill battle, um, but what a night it was. Dream stadium to play in? Oh, um, no, oh probably, I don't know, New Camp, the main, oh, nice. yeah, I think that'd be a good one, obviously we were there at the, yeah, the wee one next to it, but I think we'll go, like, Bars is such an iconic club, so, I'll say that. Um, best footballing moment? Career or supporter? Oh. Career would be... Could be the World Cup, would that yeah, be? Yeah, qualifying for the World Cup. Again, that was absolutely mad because nobody knew what was happening and we were looking <laughs> over at the side and everybody was just running on and I was like, I don't know whether to cry or not and I was trying to cry and nothing was happening and I was like, why am I not crying? So that was that was surreal. Um, as a supporter, do you know this was one's going to sound so stupid, but see when England... Uh, were at Scotland a couple of years ago and Griffiths scored that second free kick oh my god the stadium erupted like it was ridiculous and for that like short two or three minutes it was just like euphoria for every Scotland fan and that was unbelievable obviously it it didn't go the way we'd planned but for that like five minutes of being a Scotland supporter that was everything so that was pretty cool (laughs) been the highlight of the recent years yes highlight it's not been too great so yeah Um, Oh, the best goal you've ever seen in life? Oh. Um, quite the question. Yeah, it's quite a question. I suppose that could include yeah. actually playing and seeing playing. somebody hit. Like, hit I was playing, actually, you know the one Leanne Crichton against Rangers? Oh, yeah. I was in close, so I was like was right behind it. Such a good On the half volley, so I'll go with that. Wow, that was Outside, yeah. un- that very much underestimated. Yes. I don't even know if that one goal of the season. I don't think it did. Did it? Did it? Must have done. <sighs> She'll never hit one like that ever again, it'll be <laughs> rose heads, but it was unreal. Yeah, yeah so I'll that's go with that. That's a good one. Being right behind it as well, I've got a good view. Just seen it sailing, <laughs> top bins. Um, what have we got? Favourite film? Ooh, um, I love when I was growing up, 
My Best Friend's Wedding is a really old film, um, but I don't know why, I think it was my sister always used to watch it. Um, I've watched it about a hundred times, but still, I absolutely love it. It's one of Julia Roberts' first ones. Uh, I'd probably also go for like a Disney. I love Lion King. Like, I still get so upset by it. Have you seen the new one? Yeah, I yeah, wasn't totally yeah. like disheartened by it, did not enjoy it. <laughs> uh, I mean, it was good, but Lion King, yeah. original Disney's, get, still get me, like, crying my baby, but... Yeah, can it be a, a good old Disney film? Uh, oh, favourite TV show? Ooh. I do like The Great British Bake Off. Oh. Yeah, I'll go with that. That's a, yeah. a very good one. Before Crew and that coming in, or with um, We Mary? Um, I was a wee bit nervous to start with, but, how, but I'm liking good the new ones. It was a good, yeah, they've yeah. done well. Seamless. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Slubbed up to expectations, so it's all good. <laughs> Um, song you would sing in the shower? Oh God. Well, I'm absolutely tragic at singing, so I hope nobody ever hears. Probably like mm-hmm. I, said, I love Celine Dion. Celine Dion. So one of hers, but it would be car crash. Yeah. So, <laughs> who uh, has the worst taste in music? Um, to be fair, I'd probably put myself up there. I don't have That's any. Yeah, but then you've got Joanne in our country, so. Yeah. That's very it's, true. Yeah. That's Sorry, Joanne, but it's yeah. inevitable to be honest. Kirsty's good, she's obviously Yeah, TV very TV. good music. Um, I think you're hard done by Lee, everyone, you've you've gained this reputation. Yeah, I've got a bad rep, yeah. to be honest, I think it came from Leanne Ross. Uh, yeah, it was a couple of dodgy songs that I'm you down, but... Leanne, that's <laughs> tarnished, again, careers tarnished by rumours. <laughs> Alright, here we go. If you were stuck in a desert island with one player from the squad, who would, it, who would you want it to be? Uh, Probably Jo. Jo would look Jo's after funny, us. Yeah. yeah. She she's got the banner, but she'd actually look after you as yeah. well. So I think I'd feel like I would actually be quite safe. Yeah. And There'd be yeah, some people that I'd maybe feel would probably lead you astray. Yeah. Like I think Sinky would lead you astray. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't think you'd be in a safe place for her. No. Um, so yeah, Jo would probably. She's got both sides over. She's got banner, but she'd actually like. She's very intelligent as well. Yeah. She's, yeah. she's got everything. Uh huh. Yeah. Jo. Would you do the same? Yeah, we'll yep. just go. Jo. 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 Stick Jo. Thanks, Jo. Um, that's us. Oh, that's us. I think. Oh, yep. That's super. Us.